What's up, YouTube? Today is going to be the weekly video for last week. Um, I've got some updates for you guys on the audiobook maker. It should be ready for release sometime by um, next week, early next week. So you guys will be able to test it. And I'm going to go over those. And then I've got a new Texas Beach kind of software that I want to share with you guys that I found interesting. So we are in the code here. And I have everything working. Multiple speakers works. You can use uh, multiple different speakers. Let me go ahead and make this full size. You can load existing audiobooks in here. So we can go into test. You can see that I've got different speakers. I can change the speakers around here. Um, and then in the bottom right corner, you can see that I can choose a model path. I can change the speaker voice. Uh, so if I just wanted to go, let's go both on for the Melina speaker here, I can change um, what color the sentences are, which tells you which um, type of voice to use for that generation. And then I have some cool things like regeneration mode, which allows you to select sentences you want to regenerate with the voices. Um, and then you just run this regenerate continue audiobook generation, and it'll start doing all of that. Um, and you can see everything's loading in the terminal here. And I think it's going to be uh, pretty fantastic. I have some ideas for audiobooks that I want to try out. And this is going to use the settings that I put into here. So if you guys are into making audiobooks or just want to use Tortoise TTS and Style TTS in ways that are um, more useful, I would say, for reading an audiobook, um, well, you'll be able to use that in here. So on release next week, I will only have the Tortoise engine um, finished and complete. Uh, maybe I will have style TTS too, but it depends on how effective I am and how efficient I am this weekend on working on that. And then XTTS, I just have this option in here, but I don't actually have a timeline for when I want to add XTTS uh, because I've never played around with XTTS, though I think it, um, I might be able to make it work uh, with the Tortoise engine. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, I've got all of these sentences here. Let me go ahead and play some. Narration of Rezero using text to speech. Marine edition. This is really bad. Lost and penniless, those few words were all he could think of. Well, penniless wasn't quite right. He did have his wallet in his pocket, and setting aside the fact that he had an abundance of small change, and very... All right, gonna go ahead and pause that there. And then I've also added a stop button here. I know some users wanted the stop button uh, during the generation so that you can continue or if you, if you want to, for some reason, stop in the middle of the generation, you can. And I'll go over all the features that I've added and put into it when I release it, of course. And actually, the last thing that I need to finish before releasing it next week are these RVC settings, um, which I'm calling S2S, which is speech to speech. But yeah, so far, I think this is uh, coming along pretty well. And if you guys want to check what the progress of it is, you can go to my GitHub, github.com slash Jared Micah. And you can go to the audiobook maker where I'll be putting all of these um, instructions in the version three branch here. But actually, I'll be pushing it into master. So you'll be able to find and uh, see how to install it via this. So yeah, working on that, getting that going. And then there's one more thing that I want to show you guys before I end today's video, which is a new text to speech kind of software or research on emotional text to speech. And I thought this one was pretty cool. It's something that I'll be able to test out locally. But uh, yeah, let's jump into that real quick. I'll go to archive. And what I found was this emo knob, emo cob, emo, emo knob which is titled Enhanced Voice Cloning with Fine-Grained Emotional Control. From reading this, this is a speech framework that allows you to extract emotional text from these large pre-trained models. Um, I believe the authors in here hypothesize that since the, uh, since the training of the model is very rich in data, we should be able to prompt it better, quote unquote, to extract more fine grained um, control over our generated text. So going into a new tab here, we're going to go through some of the demonstrations and they do have a GitHub page where you can go to their Hugging Face demo and try that out. But let's listen to a few examples first. The cool thing about this is it might be able to be applied to other networks. So 
um, it seems like it's using a speaker voice that's converted into a vector, and then it's using some emotional samples that are also converted into vectors that overall change the trajectory of how the output audio is supposed to sound. And they say that this is able to be controlled. So here are some samples. Let's take a listen to the original. I'm so frustrated with how things turned out. And let's take a listen to angry at 0 0.5. I'm so frustrated with how things turned out. All right, let's take a listen to the sentence three. I can't believe this is happening. It's infuriating. And then five. I can't believe this is happening. It's infuriating. So as you can tell, that is uh, a actual change in emotion, which is pretty cool. So let's listen to sad real quick. I feel so down today. Nothing seems to go right. I feel so down today. Nothing seems to go right. And then sentence three. I'm just so overwhelmed with sadness. I'm just so overwhelmed with sadness. In my opinion, sadness sounded worse than angry, so it's not there 100% quite yet. But I'm glad to see that there's research going into this area, as I think this is one area of Texas speech uh, that needs to be improved upon, at least for open source. And this is open source. Like I said, there is a demo here. So maybe we'll go and try the demo. Let's Looks like no one is using the space, so let's restart it and get this going. All right, so it's taken a little bit too long to get up and started, so I don't think I'll be able to go through the Hugging Face demo today. But if you want to go ahead and try it out yourselves, um, you are very free to do so here. And I think I did mention this a little bit earlier, but this isn't a new network. This isn't a new architecture. It's using MetaVoice as the backbone. And so what, like I said earlier, what it's doing is it's using um, emotional vectors to try to extract emotion out of um, the MetaVoice pre-training. And if you don't know what MetaVoice is, is it's a pretty large pre-trained text-to-speech model. So I personally haven't tried out MetaVoice 1B yet. I might in the future, but um, some of the examples I heard from here are good, but um, Tortoise has has been good enough for me. But yeah, maybe I'll, I'll try this out in a future video and, and share my findings with you guys. All right, and that's going to be it for today's video. The audiobook maker will be released in package form to the members of my channel that are in the packages tier. So going to be similar to how the previous videos worked with that style TTS and Beatrice trainer. And then I think I'm going to do a series on how you can install different Texas Beach engines and, and get those running just to organize the installation a little bit better so that if you want to look it up on YouTube, it's a little bit easier to find. But yeah, that's going to be it for me today and I will see you guys later.